Hey everybody. So <clears throat> I was just watching Joy's stream and you know, so again, um I'm not able to engage in the chat and I'm listening to her talk and she's talking about how she thinks somebody's trying to strangle her and And then she brought up how she has a live stream that of somebody admitting to doing so, and that somebody is me. Okay, I think you guys already know this. Um, that was a while ago. And yeah, I mean, like I've said, it's a spiritual interference. Um, I'm not happy about it, but it was the truth. And you know what? If she does bring that stream up, she in that stream uh, she agreed that she would feel the same way she understood why I felt that way so it's like she's trying to I don't know what she's trying to do but it's like why would you bring that up and make me look like some type of fucking crazy person again when you yourself fucking agreed or acknowledged that you understood why I would feel that way you know, and then she's talking about wanting to have, you know, real conversations with people and this and that. And I make a video saying, you know, I'd love to talk if you want. And she schedules a live stream knowing that I'm more than likely going to, you know, watch her live stream. And then she doesn't even allow me to engage. So, you know, it's interesting since being here in Phoenix, you know, um... I've gotten, you know, the YouTube thing, I mean, I, I'm going to use it for a tool to get this project done, but I don't think it's good for me to continue making videos about her and trying to engage with her because it's, it, this, this fucking social media makes you more antisocial, I think, and it's not good, and every time I jump on there, it's just like this, it's not an organic connection, it's not an organic communication, you know, and she's, and I have... I have felt like I've been patient with her and trying to work things out and you know she has my number she can call me anytime she wants if she wants to or if not that's fine too but I'm not gonna sit here and listen to somebody bring up like to think that I'm, I would still do that like we had after that stream we had so many good streams like it's and then she even agreed that she understood why I would say that and on top of that she's tried she, I have a video of her saying she wanted to kill me but I don't keep bringing that shit up. You know, it's over with. I get it. You were emotional. Crazy shit comes out of people's mouths when they're fucking emotional. You know, and I'm probably the one person on the planet who could, you know, kind of relate to her on some shit because we both have a very deep connection in nature. But, you know, I'm not going to continue playing these games and watch her talk about me and fucking her wanting to kill herself and then me not even be able to engage at all. It's, it's not healthy for me, and it's not... I don't think it's healthy for her. You know, if she really thinks that she needs to get locked up, then, then maybe she should, you know? But there is somebody who would talk to her on the phone, you know, um, if she wants to talk, who's of the same age as her now, and has been through some crazy shit himself. I've never been molested or abused like that, but, you know, I've lived a life of a lot of self-destruction, so I know about pain, I know about destruction, I know about addiction, I know about not wanting to live. But, you know, I'm not going to continue the way that things have been going, you know. Um, it's just not healthy. And I've been feeling this for a while, and I even made a video the other night, and I deleted it because I just didn't want to do it because she's going through a hard time. But, you know, enough is enough. Um, and I have, I do want to be with somebody. You know, I'm out here, and I feel good. I feel strong and healthy, and, you know, I feel like talking to people and stuff. And I really have you know, refrained from doing so out of respect for her, you know, but she's not, in my opinion, really giving me respect back, which is fine. That's her choice. You don't got to, but I'm going to stop fucking paying attention to people who really don't give a fuck about me because that's how I feel. Um, so I hope she doesn't kill herself. I, I she's inspired me and, you know, <clears throat> It is what it is, you know. Um, I don't even know if it's it's much as a, you know, it's more of a, almost a friendship vibe that I feel for her, just to, as another fellow human being. Who I feel like, 
you know, some type of a kinship towards. I don't even know anymore. But <clears throat> again, like the way that our relation, the communication, the way it's been going is is not good um, for both of us. So I'm going to do me and just continue working on, the, you know, spirituality and trying to help out humanity and the project and share with people how they can live away from these houses. And, you know, if she wants to hit me up, she can. Um, but uh, I'm going to stop fucking I just it's not good for either of us and she's again like you know she's the, and she's doing this before she fucking brings this thing up but she doesn't bring the whole context of the situation up you know and she doesn't even say my name like why don't you just say who the fuck it is I don't give a shit people already know Every, everybody's watching probably knows who the fuck you're talking about so here I am saying that yeah it's me who fucking she's got the live stream of saying those things all right, and if she plays the whole live stream, she'll even get to a point in that live stream where she agrees that I would feel that way. And then I've got clips of her wanting to kill me, so it's like, whatever, man, you know? <clears throat> and spirituality, wicked forces will get you to do, try and get you to do wicked things, just like I admitted there was a force that tried to get me to kill Joshua. There was a force that tried to get me to kill another buddy of mine. You know, she's not the first one. So, you know, that's just who I am. It's really crazy, too, because I am the dude who also has the ability to love everybody. Truly. You know, without even judging them unconditionally. You know, whether they're a sinner or a saint, we all got a little bit of both. But, you know, the game she's playing and the bitterness that she's choosing to hold on to, you know, that's her choice. If she wants to go down that route. You know, I can't, you can't pull anybody out of the fucking pit. They got to fucking want to climb out themselves. So she can hit me up if she wants to, but other than that, I'm just going to have to continue fucking move. I'm going to have to move away from engaging in the way that we have been, that I've chosen to try and interact with her because it's not healthy. So I hope you don't kill yourself, Joy. And I hope you find some happiness and some healthiness in your life. And I am sorry that Yoki's gone. But I do think everything happens for a reason, and I do think there's something good that can be had out of it if you choose to try and find something good. But you got to make that choice and find that will in your heart. You know, love does conquer all demons. Love endears all. But you got to love through it, and you got to trust that people. You got to look at the spirit of somebody. Does my spirit look right now? This face look like somebody who wants to kill you? Because as I'm looking at myself, I'm not seeing that. But, you know, it's up to you, Joy. So I love you guys. Take care, all right?